guys, welcome to the adventure. So today I'm gonna go over some of our old content because I know it's a little bit hard to skim through all a couple hundred videos. There's like 200 some videos now. And a lot of you are newer followers, so you may not even know that these videos exist. And we wanna bring them back up. A lot of them are gonna deal with preparing for the winter weather and it's winter time, you know? So let's make sure you're prepared and you don't get caught off guard. The winter has already hit, you know, a large portion of the nation. And I don't know if you noticed the forecast, but the Northeast is supposed to get a lot of snow, like one storm up to like 50 inches. So you definitely want to be prepared ahead of time. So the first video we're going to go off of how to prepare for winter tips for trucking. And so that video is going to talk about how do you prepare your truck, things like changing out your washer fluid, making sure you're getting the correct diesel fuel that might be treated, and then what you might need in the truck just in case you would be in an accident or you lose power and you're caught off guard with no heat or electric in your semi. So check out that video. It's going to give you a lot of those tips and tricks. Let's start off with how to analyze the road conditions in the winter for truck drivers driving tips for the winter. So that's going to be talking about how to just analyze the roadway when it's dark it's misty, it's foggy, all of those things to tell if the road has some black ice on it, if it's dry, if it's salty, just more on analyzing the road so you don't have to be so intimidated, so nervous. It's gonna give you some confidence and then also be better prepared as a driver as you go each mile. So there's gonna be a lot of those how to analyze the weather in that video. The next one is winter driving tips on how to avoid flying snow and ice from your semi. You guys, when you're pulling trailers out of a lot after a snowstorm, there is sometimes a lot of snow or ice piled up on top of that trailer. I don't know if you're aware, but if that snow or ice comes flying off and causes an accident, you can be held liable for it. And you really don't want to do that. Ultimately, sadly, every single year, accidents are occurred because of ice flying off, flying to somebody's windshield, and it causes somebody to have a catastrophic event and somebody loses their life in that event. You guys, it's avoidable. So watch that video, find out how you can avoid that. Don't be one of those drivers that's a jerk that all the snow and the ice is coming back from miles off the top of your trailer. Check out that video so you can understand how to get that cleared off. Winter driving tips, how to handle your semi truck after losing control. So maybe you hit some of that black ice that you didn't really see as you're analyzing um, the road conditions or the storm comes out of nowhere, you hit a snow squall, things like that. You start to lose control. This video is gonna help give you some strategies, some tips on how to regain control of your truck so that you don't end up in the median or maybe if you do end up in the median, help avoid a less serious accident. So. Um, how to recover after losing control. So one of the other videos is also gonna be talking about your trucker um, pets, your fur baby. So our trucker dog, Lily, you guys remember her. She gave lots of tips and tricks for being a fur baby on the road. One of those is gonna be don't allow your pets to walk where snow or ice has been plowed, where they've laid back down salt or different things on the road because those chemicals are not good for them and it can cause your pet to get really, really sick and unfortunately it could kill your pet if they're licking too much of that. So it gives you other tips or tricks also for your pets, um, neater feeders and just different things on how to make life better in the truck for them. So check that out if you have a fur baby. Lastly, these two videos are, are for our husband and wife team drivers or team drivers. We have a high number of husband and wife team drivers. Since we are husband and wife team drivers, of course we specialize that. And this is five tips to be successful team drivers. So how to create the best success out of being drivers. Um, scheduling, routines, when to eat, when to shower, driving times. We're coming with you with this information with a lot of studying, a lot of statistics, a lot of information. It's very science-based facts. Um, best set your schedule. It's not just because we think it's a great idea and we just want to think that we're really smart. No, I mean, yeah, we're kind of smart. We've been doing this for a while. We've been team driving for seven years, um, but we also have 45 years together. And there's a lot of studying that goes behind all of our videos. So these videos come from a lot of research, road experience, life experience. Um, we've also done rodeos and really studied the laws and trucking and different things like that. So all of these videos come with that kind of knowledge behind it. So being husband and wife team drivers, um, we are really successful team drivers. Um, we have uh, over a million miles as husband and wife team drivers that are safe. We also have millions of miles together um, accident free. 
So we know this information is helpful because that's how we got to where we are. Like we applied the information that we're sharing with you to our everyday life and that's how we got there. Next one is truth behind husband and wife team trucking. So there's a lot of misconceptions about husband and wife team driving and what it's really like, the, the sacrifice that we endure um, during husband and wife team driving and just kind of help giving you a perspective and um, help fail proof some of the things. Don't set yourself up for failure in your marriage as team drivers and things like that. So we really want to encourage you guys apply this knowledge. These aren't the only videos. Again, we have hundreds of videos um, on here with all a lot of great information. So scroll through, find some of our old videos. I know they're not as good as some of the new videos, but we're not professional videographers. We're truck divers out here just trying to share our information with you to just make it so that you guys can be more experienced and get, I'm just better in the industry and maybe even just decide if trucking is what you want to do. So guys, scroll through, check out some of these old videos. There's a lot of really great content. There's also some really fun videos like places you can stop, restaurants you can eat at, just a wide range of different things. But I definitely promise it's going to add value to your life. It's what we do daily, yearly, and it's really the backbone and the great foundation to the key of our success in the trucking industry. You guys, be sure to like and subscribe. There's all those tons of old videos, but there's always going to be new videos it's holiday season a little blooper heads up tune in to Sirius XM um, I'll post more information follow us on Facebook and Instagram that way you know the exact time that the interview is gonna air but we're gonna be on road dog trucker um, being interviewed on how to prepare your Thanksgiving meal on the road so those are gonna be videos coming up so subscribe like follow us on all those things that way you guys can stay up to date and if you have questions or you're or concerns or different things don't hesitate to like ask us and also if you have some great tips let us know because we don't know it all but all right guys you stay safe and enjoy the adventures bye